further ado, ladies and gentlemen, one of the legends of the modern age, Mr. Jimmy Wales. <laughs> Legends of the modern age. <laughs> you will all be disappointed now. Um, what is Wikipedia? Uh, the core definition of Wikipedia is that Wikipedia is a freely licensed encyclopedia written by thousands of volunteers in many languages. And all of that is very important to us. Uh, when I say freely licensed, I'm saying um, you know, free access to human knowledge. What do I mean by that? Well, I mean uh, more than just the cost of Wikipedia. Uh, we come from the world of free software or open source software as most people know it. And in this world, when we talk about free, we have an old joke. We say, free as in speech, not free as in beer. When I say uh, the sum of all human knowledge, what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is that Wikipedia is a certain well-defined concept of an encyclopedia. Uh, Wikipedia is not everything in the world. It's not an archive. It's not a library. It's not a textbook. Uh, Wikipedia is not YouTube, so we don't have funny cat videos. The Wikimedia Foundation is the charity that owns and operates Wikipedia. And my slide's a little bit out of date here because my slide says we have 35 employees. It's actually uh, around 50 employees now. Uh, I'm a little concerned that the organization is getting bloated. Um, just kidding. The staff has almost nothing to do with the day-to-day -day operation of the editing processes uh, on, on the site. The foundation's task is to keep Wikipedia running. So it's a very tiny uh, organization. If you can think about the, uh, the scope of what we're doing, uh, the fifth most popular website, 400 million visitors, and uh, only 50 staff, and a budget of only $20 million is a really an astounding thing. So in Wikipedia today, we have over 16 million articles. Uh, we're in over 270 different languages. We now have over 400 million uh, visitors every month. Who are the people who write Wikipedia? Uh, I think that's a really important question. Uh, why should we want to know who the Wikipedians are? I mean, it's a great website. What do we care who wrote it? And one of the interesting things, uh, the way as we're looking at this, this was a, a message that someone posted on Twitter. It turns out she's a school teacher. And she says, yesterday I asked one of my students if she knew what an encyclopedia is, and she said, is it something like Wikipedia? And so it's really, really important to all of us that Wikipedia be as good as it possibly can be. So who are the Wikipedians? So by the numbers, um, we are about 87% male which is not a good thing. The average age is around 26. Somebody told me a different survey said 27, but I mean, you get the general idea, it's late 20s. We're a pretty geeky crowd. We have doubled the percentage of PhDs relative to uh, the general public. Who are the amateur encyclopedias? We're at the center of this Venn diagram between intelligence, obsession, and lots and lots of free time. Uh, but in the main, it's a very friendly group of people who are very passionate about getting it right, and that makes all the difference. vision for the next five or ten years, both in terms of content generation and attracting new editors. When we look at the growth of Wikipedia, let's just talk about the, the growth in the content. Uh, it has slowed to some extent as it's become harder and harder to find subjects about which we don't have an article. Also the rate of growth, uh, say in English for example, uh, the readership has also slowed down, but that's, that is easy to explain when you're already the fifth most popular website online. The way I see the next few years, there has been a turn from quantity to quality. What are your views on net neutrality? The first thing I should say is that the Wikimedia Foundation, which is the nonprofit that owns and operates Wikipedia, takes no political positions on anything whatsoever, uh, including net neutrality. So I want to make clear that my views are not necessarily the views of either the community or uh, the Wikimedia Foundation. Uh, my view is that many of the people who are in favor of legislating for net neutrality are acting in good faith, but they're very naive about what they're doing and that they are uh, at risk of introducing regulation that will uh, slow down innovation online. The bit about net neutrality doesn't strike me as the, the, where the action is taking place right now. Uh, where the action is taking place right now is in the development of the apps model, uh, which is in some ways an incredible boon. There's some really interesting and amazing things going on. However, the concern that you have to have is in order to make software and distribute it, um, you can distribute it to a handful of friends if they do this very complicated thing with getting a key and all this.
this. But to actually just distribute it for free, say, oh, look, I wrote this cool app. Everybody can have it for free, and you can look at my source code and everything. You have to get permission from Apple. And so that choke point uh, that we have in the Apple Apps model is very dangerous. I own a device, and you're a programmer. You want to give me your software. We should not have to get permission from anyone else. Jimmy Wiles. Thank you. We had a lot of fun. Uh, lots of people here are already editing Wikipedia and familiar with Wikipedia. The rates of participation in Wikipedia track very well with the rates of sophistication of the use of media, new media in particular, uh, and so that's something that we really want to reach out to. It was really exciting to be here.